I went to Moapa Valley High School in Southern Nevada. And when I was there in 2004 as a freshman on the dance team, before being able to participate in the dance team, we had to sign this contract. And part of the contract contained an abstinence clause. And in this abstinence clause, you basically said you, had to, you would refrain from sexual activity while being a member of the team. The reason given was that any like individual member having sex, especially if they were having sex with multiple partners, that would give the entire dance team a reputation of being sluts and we didn't want to have that reputation. An unofficial part of this agreement was that we were specifically also definitely not supposed to have sex with anybody on a competing team. So for example, we were Moapa Valley High School and our main competitors were Virgin Valley High School and Virgin Valley, yes, it's ironic considering the story. And they were really big, like the other girls on reminding us, make sure you definitely don't have sex with anyone from Virgin Valley High School because <laughs> then like, you know, you're like sleeping with the enemy kind of a thing. It was, it was weird. You weren't supposed to have sex at all, but like definitely not with people from Virgin Valley High School. And as an adult, I'm looking back on all of this and I'm like, what in the motherfuckery is going on here? There is no reason that anyone besides a doctor or somebody who needs to help your child with their health should be informed of your child's sexual status. Like that is nobody's business. There is no healthy reason any adult outside of, again, like medical professionals should be informed of that. That is just weird. But our coach from that dance team, she was Mormon. And it's very common in Mormon culture to normalize adults in position of authority um, requiring children to give them details about their sex lives. That's just part of Mormonism. They literally have children come in, if you're part of that religion, every six months up from like 12 years old onwards to have these interviews wherein bishops ask them, uh, are you keeping the law of chastity? Which means, are you using your genitals in a way that the church approves of? And every Mormon parent I talk to thinks this is completely normal and completely fine and they have no problems with it. So I definitely think that this like pact or this part of the contract was very heavily influenced by that culture that normalized this type of child grooming. 